Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Well, this is brand new as of yet to be released, officially to be released, I believe, uh, three days as of this recording. This is Makulu Linux Flash Edition, brand new. The last time I tested Makulu Linux was at least a year ago. I was impressed. Now, according to the developer, this is built on pure raw speed. Interesting description. Could this be the fastest Linux dis distribution out there? Well, let's take a look. This is going to be what you see is what you get. No editing. It has a built-in screen recorder, Kazam. I am running that. And I am running this off a bootable USB stick. Now, ideally, running this off a bootable USB stick is not the best way to stress test or to speed test a Linux distribution. But we're going to try it anyway, just to get the feel on just how fast this one is. There are some release notes. So briefly, Makulu Linux Flash 2020, traditional retro style Linux, focuses on ease of use, comfort, stability, and pure raw speed. I cannot stress that enough because that's the impression that I'm getting. So it's built on the new 2020 Makulu Linux. Uh, will not disappoint. Lightning fast, sports a dual menu setup. It says here it's a very modernized uh, desktop offering plenty of transparency, beautiful wallpapers, and some great menu options. Once again, as you can see in the next paragraph, pure raw speed. This is based, um, let's see, this is updates from the Ubuntu Bionic repository. Life cycle until 2023. That can be extended until 2028. So it looks like we have support for Windows applications through Y. Double click X. EXE as you want to win those and run it 32-bit library is also supported for Steam and it looks like we have uh, Steam Proton is also fully supported Flatpak and Snap all right so we have compass support for cool uh, animations 3d effects such as the wobbly windows and the full cube effects those are nice and it looks like you can uh, enable that if you want that so it says here, to sum up Flash, it is a traditional retro distro with some cool features, beautiful wallpapers and themes, lightning fast. Again, the theme here is speed. I'm curious. We will find out. All right, so users will appreciate the fact that we paid attention to finer details. We spend a lot of time polishing this build. All right, so it's been extensively tested. We don't expect many issues, if any at all. That's quite a statement. So the standout features, we have the 2020 series base from Makulu Linux, XFCE desktop environment, which is inherently fast, kernel 5.3 something, 64-bit, 32-bit supported, uh, included, but you will need a 64-bit CPU to run Flash, okay? The current build is this month, hot corner, dual menu, 50 wallpapers, 24 color themes, 10 colored icon sets, huge driver support, I do recommend at least one gig of RAM. For most people, that should be a problem. Uh, you'll need at least uh, 15 gigabytes of storage. And it says here, Easter eggs. Leave your PC idle for about 10 minutes and find out. I'm curious. All right, so more important things to know. As I said, two menus in the flash. There is the uh, traditional whisker menu, full screen overlay menu. And this can be accessed in the two bottom corners of the uh, bottom panel, which I will show you here shortly. Here at the bottom, um, if you are using a virtual machine, he says, please change the display settings, GPU to VBox VGA and not VM S VGA. And it says here to ignore any warnings it may give. All right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, again, this is what you see is what you get. I will not edit this as I normally would. This is, the, this is the default desktop here. We have a fuzzy bear. Let's see if we can change that. This probably has the um, the variety wallpaper changer. Yes, right down here, bottom right. Uh, next. Okay, I kind of like that contrast there, so let's go with that. Um, the clock is wrong, but I haven't installed this and run all the updates. Once again, I'm running this off a USB stick. This is not the best way to test any operating system for speed, but I'm curious just to see how fast it is. Well, let's go through this. So again, right click as you would, you know, if you've tested XFCE before type of systems, this is pretty much um, what you would get. 
There are some more options here, such as to change wallpaper themes and 3D. Looks like many colors here. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, a slight delay, but that's actually pretty fast running this off a USB stick. Uh, let's go with orange. I guess you can turn on 3D on or off. Uh, rebooting your PC will reset. No, I think we'll skip that, but it's nice to have that option. All right, let's move along. We have a nice conky here to the right. And important news headlines, flash stable build as of 3.17 of this month. Uh, and some other information here. Very good. All right, so we have two uh, menus, start menus. So this is the full screen overlay. Um, what about 60 or so total pieces of software real quick. Okay, I don't think I like this that much. There is a search at the top. If we go to the bottom left, okay, now this looks, for me, it looks a little bit more user-friendly. So favorites, recently used, all applications, accessories, games, graphics, internet, and so on. You know, let's, let's go through these one by one. Let's go through accessories, see what catches my eye. Okay, so variety wallpaper changer. I've used this before. This is actually pretty nice. Okay. Let's go back to accessories. Uh, looks like we have two USB image writers. Make a bootable USB stick, format a USB stick. Isn't that the same thing? I don't know, sounds like it to me. All right, so wine tricks. All right, and um, XF burn. If you still burn CD, this is a terrific, easy to use disc burner. And anything else catches my eye here? Um, all right, let's go to games. All right, we have Play on Linux and Steam for all you gamers. And Lutris. Nice. Graphics. All right, shot wall I use uh, somewhat, quite a bit. Internet. All right, for all you Discord fans, very nice. Skype. I use it for both Linux and Windows. Google Chrome I use. We have Discord, Open Drive, PC Cloud, Remina. All right. Mega Sync. Interesting. Easily automated syncing between your computers and your Mega Cloud Drive. Okay. Um, which I don't use that, but it's there if you need it. Okay. Let's go to. Um, Let's see, we were at internet, let's go to multimedia. It was nice to have a built-in screen recorder ready to go to record this. Um, pulse audio, volume control, very nice. And audio recorder I use sometimes for the podcast, so very nice. Office, the usual LibreOffice by default. Evolution for the mail client. I prefer Thunderbird, but Evolution is very good also. Settings. Lots here. Let's go to appearance. Okay, so we, we defaulted. We changed it to orange, but many, many choices here. I think I'll leave that the way it is. Let's go ahead and stress this uh, some more and see just how stable and fast this is off a USB stick. Again, this is not the best way to test something, but we'll give it a shot. So we were to settings. Boot repair. Interesting. Uh, let's go to background. Well, a nice collection of wall papers, as you see here. Nice, nice touch. It's always nice to install something or look at something new that's a little bit different than the usual. Uh, yeah, lots of colorful uh, wallpapers here. I think I'll leave this um, the way it is. Let's go ahead and close that. Just right click and close. Oh, that was easy. Go back to settings, Grub Customizer. Don't see that too much. Uh, let's see, anything else catches my eye here? Settings Manager. Okay, this is probably the best way if you wanted to uh, customize your desktop through the Settings Manager. We have Hot Corners, Desktop, and the Wallpapers, Menus, and Icons, very good. All right, let's go back. You know what, this is actually running uh, pretty fast. Uh, 
off a USB stick. Uh, now that I think about it, window manager tweaks, uh, system monitor, yeah, um, wow, I'm actually impressed by the speed of this. Let's go to system, we have HTOP, running about 2.5 gigs, not too bad. This was about a, um, uh, so we have a hotkey, there we go. This was a approximately a two gig download. Um, so about normal nowadays. Ah, the Synaptic Package Manager is installed by default. Very nice. This is one of my, I don't, I'm not sure what the password is. Is it Makulu? Um, okay, so if you're running this off a USB stick, use Makulu for the password. Yeah, the Synaptic Package Manager uh, is my one of my favorite ways uh, to install and delete software. For newbies, you may want to stick with the default uh, software center, but this is not too difficult to learn. Uh, looks like we have some transparency effects there. Very nice. All right, let's see what else catches my eye here. We have a donate. If you wish to donate, I use BleachBit, the app grid. That's interesting. I think I've taken a look at this before, a different way to categorize your software, what to search for software. Um, okay, cool. The Thunar File Manager. I really like the orange. It sticks out, pops out. So uh, I'm running Kazam there. And this is Thunar 1.6, uh, 1.6.15. Again, very fast. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just running really, really faster than I thought it would, running it off a USB stick. Um, very nice. So far, I'd have to say that the team at Mokulu has done a pretty good job. If, if we're talking just speed uh, so far, this might want to be something I'm, I may want to run as a full uh, install test because I'm not seeing any lag or crashes whatsoever. So far, again, I haven't fully installed this. I'm not seeing any lags or crashes whatsoever running this off a USB stick. Very, very impressive. Of course, there's a lot more here than what I have time to show you. Uh, like I said, I may test this again as a full install, but this looks nice. Um, scan for viruses, that's interesting. When was the last time that you got a virus on your Linux desktop? I don't remember. Desktop clock. Looks like we can change this uh, the options here will this work uh, 24 hour format 12 hour format all right that's 12 hour nice i like it okay that's black we don't want that okay so we can adjust it just by clicking very very user friendly you can enable or disable the desktop clock and will it go off or is there a delay? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe maybe with the full install, this will work better. Themes and 3D, we went through that, okay. Well, uh, is this the fastest Linux distribution out there? Well, I'll have to take the developer's word for it, but uh, so far my brief test, this is running First of all, it looks great. You know, I think I think that's what I said last year that this that the Makulu Linux looked great out of the box. But I guess the way the really, really the real way, the only real way to fully test this for speed is a full install test. But if it's running this fast off a USB stick, um, I can just imagine the speed of this as a full install. Very nice. Let's do one more test here. Let's get out of that. Let's get a right click on the panel here 
And uh, yeah, XFCE is known for its uh, ability feature to add little uh, applets. Let's go with this whisker menu. And it looks like it's the bottom right by default. And there's another option for the launcher. So yeah, this, <laughs> this looks really, really nice. Um, let's change one last time the wallpaper. Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, let's go with that. All right, that looks nice and romantic. Well, my friends, I'll leave it there. Uh, check out when this is officially released. Uh, as of three days from now, it should be as of this recording. Uh, looks like the clock was corrected. Um, not quite, almost. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to test this as a full install uh, test. So check it out. This looks great. It feels great. Uh, is it the fastest Linux distribution out there? It could be, based on my brief tests here. Again, I won't know till a full install, but uh, you know, full install tests. But uh, I will take the developer's word that this is based. <laughs> this is going to run on pure raw speed. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, this is Makulu Linux for twenty. 20 Makulu Linux Flash Edition for 2020. Check it out. I'm going to end this now. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.